Good morning and happy Tuesday, everyone. And oh my God, for once, the sun is actually shining. Holy cow, I don't see, okay, well, I, I do see one like rain puddle, but that there, that's the only one that I, I see at the moment. But that's it, there's no rain. Oh my God, there's actually no rain. Hopefully I'll finally be able to see some flowers today. Seriously, like, how are we supposed to see flowers if it keeps raining? I mean, don't get me wrong, the water from the rain is nourishing the ground and stuff, but come on, man, I want to see some May flowers. Please, we should have already seen that. I don't know. Um, I have to say that my low would be... It's been pretty uneventful. Really, I mean, there isn't much to to say in the realm of um, uh, anything going on at the moment. Everything's pretty quiet. I mean, I guess I was, I should have expected this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a good Mother's Day and I was able to see my folks yesterday. And I saw them on Mother's Day, obviously, too. But, unfortunately, there isn't really much to talk about. I mean, it's just been really quiet. Really, um, you know, nothing. I mean, I, I think American Idol was on last night. And I believe the, uh, the, uh, the Mavericks lost and the Celtics won, I think. I know the, the series between the Mavericks and whoever they're playing against, that's tied in Boston's leading 3-1. So if you're fans of the Celtics, you should be happy. Um, but yeah, everything's been awfully quiet. Um, let's see. So my low is the fact it's pretty boring. My high is, you know, I did get to see my family anyway. It, it was, it was quite nice. I had dinner with them, turned in early, stuff like that. And let's see, what was my act of kindness? I would say my act of kindness was one thing I'm probably emptying the dehumidifier for my dad, as well as setting the table for for dinner. That uh, that's really about it. Um, yeah, that uh, that's about all I. Uh, that's all I got. I mean, I'm so bummed. There's like nothing to talk about. Like, Hot Ones is still on break for a little bit. Because, you know, I mean, watch. I bet like this week we're going to be getting like the hot sauce line of reveal. Which, I mean, I guess I could probably speculate on that for a little bit. I mean,. I say speculate. You know we're going to get a version of... Um, oh, actually, I, I can't say the classic anymore because uh, Hot Ones Buffalo. Oh, that might be rather classic. That, that'd be interesting to think about. The bomb is still going to be there. The last sad experience is going to be there. Some form of Los Calientes. That's going to be on there, too. Um, probably Los Calientes Barbacoa. Because with summer about to arrive, it would make perfect sense for them to bring back Los Calientes Barbacoa. Yeah, you know, the, the sauce of summer, which that's what they call it, not me. Um, I mean, I did mention on Saturday I could probably do a um, sort of like a mini series about the video game series. I, had throughout my life. 
I could do that. Um, keep in mind, oh, here's the thing. If I were to do this sort of series, keep in mind, I'm only going to talk about the games from said franchises that I've actually played with. So, like, um, you know, I don't think I'll start it off. So, um, which, who should I start with? Well, I guess there's no place to start than the very first video game character that my brother and I were played with. It was Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, really. We actually got the Sega Genesis first before we got a Super... We didn't even get the right... We didn't even know the regular Nintendo existed. We just got the Super Nintendo. And the Super Nintendo was like a revolutionary thing. Before that, we had uh, the Sega Genesis. And we played a lot of Sega Genesis, and well, he, I really didn't play much, many video games, but my brother did though, so I'd watch him, and he was good at it. We saw, um, we, there were games like, you know, like Golden Axe, and um, uh, Toe Jam and Earl, remember that game? Uh, I think the, the uh, DuckTales, the DuckTales video game, we played, my brother played that game. Um, Shinobi 3, my brother played that game too, but when you hear the word Sega, it only makes sense that you think of, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, and, I mean, what can I say about Sonic the Hedgehog that hasn't already been said, you know, he's, he's the blue blur, you know, he is, when you think video games, he's He's one of the video game characters you think of the most. You know, alongside Super Mario. And, you know, come to think of it, I find it really interesting that even though most people would associate Sonic with the color blue, and even though most people would associate Mario with the color red, both of the designs have red and blue in them. I mean, Sonic is blue, but he has uh, red speed shoes. And, you know, Mario has like a red cap and a red shirt, but he wears blue overalls. I don't know. That's actually something I've always thought of. Like, when you think of like great, like, heroes and characters in fiction, there's always the color contrast of red and blue, for the most part. I mean, again, Sonic and Mario, that, come, that comes to mind. Optimus Prime, that's another one. Superman, there you go. Um, Monkey and Luffy from One Piece. I mean, that, I mean, his, his design changes every so often, but for the most part, you always see him wearing some form of red and some sort of blue or kind of a cool color. Like, uh, I believe during the Wano arc, he had a, um, he had a uh, purple sash, especially when he uh, transforms into Gear 5th. Spoiler, by the way. Um, yeah, so I guess red and blue is what you associate with, with a hero. I mean, I wonder if that's what Betsy Ross had in mind when she designed the American flag. You know, red, white, and blue. But, um, anyway, let's talk about this. I mean, there isn't really much to talk about with Sonic, at least for the first game. The second game, everyone says it's the best. I can tell you that Maybe my brother and I played it, but we can't remember. But the third game, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like that's when things started picking up for my brother and I. Because, I mean, it was the first time we were playing with a character that wasn't Sonic. And Knuckles looked cool, he looked tough. And it was interesting, like um, my brother would get to the final boss, but he never actually finished the game. Because um, it just got to be too hard. I mean, we didn't know about secret alternative routes you can take or, you know, that you can get like the chaos stuff, the chaos. Um, the chaos emerald, I'm sorry. I almost said chaos gem, it's chaos emeralds. You, the chaos, I can't believe I almost forgot that. The chaos emeralds to get like supersonic or hypersonic or, you know, anything like that. We, we, we didn't know. I mean, we didn't have video game guides back then. We didn't know you could, were supposed to explore to look for everything. 
I mean, we just thought we had to go just the way that you're supposed to go. And you have to beat the level based on what was in front of you. That, that's it. I mean, the internet didn't really come into its own. Well, technically the internet had been around, but it's not like we had access to it. I think the last time we got like internet in our house, when we got internet in our household, it was like probably after the year 2000. So, needless to say, we were kind of far behind. We were a little bit behind. But, um, you yeah, know, that's dealing with the Sega Genesis. But then came the Sega, the Sega, oh, then we had Sega Saturn, but they didn't really come with a side game then. And, um, then came the Sega Dreamcast. I'm thinking that one South Park episode where Carmen's like, we're getting that, we're getting that made for it. Sega Dreamcast. Like, so, yeah, the Sega Dreamcast is really cool. You know, we got, um, I remember playing Power So a lot. That was a fun fighting game. But, uh, yeah. You can't think of the Sega Dreamcast. You can't think of Sonic without thinking of two of arguably his best games in the entire series. Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. And, I mean, what's to say about those games that, you know, haven't already been set? I mean, Sonic Adventure, I mean, it's a little bit glitchy in terms of, you know, the animation, but the gameplay is still great. And I really did like it. I really did like how, because in Sonic Adventure, you play as uh, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy Rose, um, Omega, I think, or Alpha. No, no, it was Omega. No, Beta. It was Beta. It was Beta. And Big the Cat, right? So, like, obviously the characters interact in certain scenes, but like the dialogue is different based on their memory of the uh, of the event. That's really cool. And you know, that was the first because all my all my life at that point, I just remembered Sonic because I was Doctor Robotnik. It wasn't until Sonic Adventure One where Eggman became like the standard naming for that character. So that was really interesting. And not to mention, like, when you beat the game as all six characters and you unlock Super Sonic, I mean, Open Your Heart is still one of the greatest final boss themes I've ever heard. I mean, it's one of the greatest, but when you come out with Sonic Adventure 2, what do you do? You escalate everything, you know? Instead of playing the game as six different characters, you have a good hero story and... The, uh, I guess, bad hero story, because good heroes, you know, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Bad heroes is, you know, uh, Dr. Eggman, Rouge the Bat, who's a new character. But, come on, man, everybody remembers Shadow. Like, he was the anti- he was, like, he was the anti-Sonic. He was. Like, no one ever thought there that anyone would ever come up with a character that can move as fast as Sonic and can do... Actually, he's the ultimate life form. There are things he can do that Sonic can't, like the Chaos Spear and stuff. And it's really interesting. It was really great. But, um... I mean, again, I mentioned how Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure 1, best, villain, best uh, final battle song ever. Uh, allow me to tell you about a song called Live and Learn. Oh yeah, I've got both of those songs on my iPod and I'll listen to them every now and again. Shout out to Crush 40, you guys, you know what, for lack of a word, you guys crush it every time. And um, that was, the very last Sonic game I ever played was Sonic Heroes. And keep in mind, I play the GameCube version. A lot of people complain about that game because they either played on like the Xbox or like the PS2 when the GameCube version is clearly the superior version. So, I mean, honestly, I wish, I really wish they just called it Sonic Adventure 3. I mean, I get why they call it Sonic Heroes, because, you know, it was Sonic Tails Knuckles, uh, Rouge, Shadow, who lost his memory, and Omega, um, Team Rose, which was Amy Rose, Cream the Bunny, and Big the Cat. 
And then Team Chaotix from the game's Knuckles Chaotix, it was, uh, SPO, Charmy, and Vector. That's what it was. SPO, the Chameleon, Charmy, the Bee, and Vector, the, uh, she was a crocodile or was he an alligator? I think it was a crocodile. Anyway, point is, I actually had a lot of fun playing that game. And that's pretty much been my entire, um, history of playing with I me. Mean, I never played any of the games after that. In fact, I do recall Sonic having a bit of a dark period. You know, Sonic 06, anyone? I never played that game. But it was nice to hear that Sonic was coming out with more games. And from what I've heard, over the, I mean, Sonic's definitely had a bit of a resurgence. Like, I believe Sonic Frontier has been like a great game for the franchise. So, I mean, I don't know where the feet, I mean, I'm probably going to be saying this every time I do, like, one of these videos. I don't know where the future holds for the character of Sonic or his franchise. I mean, I know he came out with, like, his third movies coming out. I never saw the movies at all, by the way. I mean, I know what happens. Although, that does remind me. Who is my favorite Sonic voice actor? Because there's been a lot of voice actors to don the mantle of the blue blur. From Jaleel White, to Brian Drummond, to Jason Anthony Griffith, to Ben Schwartz, to Roger Craig Smith. They've all been great in their own right, and they all brought, like, their unique flair. Well, oh, actually, you know what, before I continue, I do gotta say, I did play Shadow the Hedgehog, and, yeah, I will admit, it's not very good. It's better than some of the other games from the Dark Sonic Age, but yeah, it's still not very good. Anyway, so here's the thing. When Sonic, because I watched Sonic X, and I know that Jason Griffith took a while to get into his own with the role of Sonic, but when he finally did, and when he was doing the voice of Shadow, he was the he was the Sonic I most resonated with. Honestly, I kind of wish they were still using him for something. Like, I get it, you know. Sonic is like Batman. You know, there have been lots of actors who portray Batman in both live action and, you know, as an animated character. Like, he doesn't belong. That character doesn't belong to one actor. Darkwing Duck is another example. You know, he doesn't belong to one actor. Honestly, it's based on preference. I don't think there's ever been... I really don't think there's ever been a bad Sonic voice actor. For sure. People just gravitate towards others differently is all. You know, I happen to like Jason Griffith a lot, but I happen to like Jaleel White. I happen because, you know, the Sonic cartoons. I liked, um, you know, Roger Craig Smith, who really came to his own and... I mean, um, Brian Drummond from the Sonic Adventure games and Sonic Heroes. Um, shoot, I keep, hold on, yeah, I think I just named all the actors again, so, yeah, I mean, I do like Sonic, I'm really glad that, you know, there's, a, Sonic has as deep of a fan base as he does now. I really am glad. And, you know, again, from what I hear, Sonic Frontiers is arguably the best game ever for his uh, first franchise. So, again, I may not know where the future for Sonic goes from here, but I can only imagine that, like the sun shining outside right now, it's looking pretty bright. I hope you like this video. If you like this, our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. As always, I'm here to help you for all of you guys watching over today. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, we're going to be here to lend you all the way back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.